Robin Bremer at robinbremer.net and I am driving in my car as you can see. And I love talking to you guys. I used to make videos when I was driving in my car before and people would freak out. You can't drive and talk. Yes, I can. I sit there and I talk to my husband sitting in the car while I'm driving, so why can't I talk to you? Um, anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Today I want to share a video about angels. I just got a revelation about angels that I wanted to share with you. Um, I know that some people say that, oh, you shouldn't worship angels, so people are afraid of angels in the sense of, oh, I don't want to get into them, I don't want to study them, because if I do, I'm worshiping them. But God showed me a truth this morning uh, that kind of got me excited, and so I want to talk to you about angels. <laughs> First of all, angels were created to minister to us. They're partners with us in uh, bringing heaven on earth. They're our partners. They go out and minister to us. They they hearken to the voice of the word. So whatever we say, like the word says, uh, no evil shall befall me or come near my dwelling place. And then we say angels go out and um, strip the, or, or you know, uh, cause uh, the angel, the angels go out and cause uh, the enemy to leave the area I'm going to be in, not to cause any heaven or whatever. <laughs> Excuse me. So the angels hearken to the voice of your word, but um, angels are normal. And <laughs> he just pointed something out to me while I was thinking of doing a video on this. And he said <clears throat> that when Peter was in prison and the um, uh, Rhonda, I believe her name was Rhonda Aroda, went, the servant girl went to answer the door and they were praying for Peter. I don't know if it was Peter or Paul or one of them was in prison. And the angel was at, uh, uh, he was at the door knocking and the servant girl answered the door and she said, um, she closed the door in his face and said, uh, Peter's, at, uh, Peter's at the door. And um, they all just kept on doing what they were doing because they didn't believe her. They thought it was in his angel. Now tell me this. If you thought an angel was knocking at your door, would you close the door in the angel's face? No. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so that points out to me that... Seeing an angel was an everyday common occurrence. So think of it this way. If she saw what she thought was, he said, he, he's, it was him. It was the actual person knocking at the door. She went and told everybody and everybody thought, well, it, it's not really him. It's an angel. And she slammed the door in his face and they didn't even go to the door and look. If you knew an angel was at your door, wouldn't you go to the door and look? <coughs> Excuse me. So, I find it uh, interesting that we never really put two and two together in that area. That it was so common to see angels, to experience angels in the Old, in, I mean in the New Testament. <laughs> that when an angel, when they thought an angel was standing at the door, instead of going and saying, Oh wow, look at there's an angel there, how awesome, how cool. They just kept on praying for Peter to get out of jail. And so, that was a revelation that I got angels are were so common so normal to see them and experience them in the <clears throat> in the New Testament that they didn't think nothing of it okay so here is the other thought I've been seeing angels in the clouds because uh, the hosts of heaven <clears throat> camouflage themselves in the clouds and I've been asking God to show me pictures or not pictures but show me the hosts of heaven in the clouds and I got two pictures so far of it God said that people are going to experience more and more of these angels, the hosts of heaven, because he wants us to bring heaven on earth. Okay, so my revelation that I was excited about and like to share with you, besides that other one, was I want to see more angels. But it's not for the sake so much of seeing angels. It's because when I see angels, or I see angels in the clouds hiding themselves, watching what's going on on the earth, I am getting closer to God. I, it's like these angels bring, they stand in the presence of God. So they bring God's presence. So they bring God's presence with them. They bring God's power with them. So when I see an angel, I feel that much more closer to God because, wow, these angels stood next to God. These angels 
are in heaven and come to earth and they minister to us. So it's not a matter of worshiping angels. It's a matter of God's creation. It's like when you look at all, God says that nature reveals his beauty and his glory. So when you look at all of nature, when you say, wow, I want to study this kind of tree because this tree is beautiful and I like the way it works and what it does. And man, God created this. This is awesome. You're getting drawing closer to God because you're appreciating the things that he created for us. So when you study angels, you want to experience angels, you share about angels, you're not worshiping angels, you're not saying, um, you are so wonderful angel, I worship you, you know, you're not doing that. You're saying this is another of God's creation just like nature and I want to know more about it. Like you want to know more about cats or dogs or horses or trees. Angels is just another part of his creation. And the thing about angels is they stand in God's presence. So the more <clears throat> you experience heaven on earth, the closer that you feel to, to God. And you can think of it this way. if, if you, It's like when you know a celebrity. Like um, everybody knows, um, let's see, um, pick a celebrity. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a celebrity and my mind's going blank. Uh, Tom Hanks. Okay, so let's say everybody knows Tom Hanks about Tom Hanks but if your cousin is best friends with Tom Hanks and you're visiting with your cousin then you would feel closer to that celebrity Tom Hanks and so that's the same way with angels when you experience the supernatural realm or you experience angels or study angels they're carrying with them a piece of heaven so it's so exciting to experience them to understand them to know them and it's normal uh, so if you miss part of that video and I'm driving so I can't read anything anyone's saying but um, if you miss part of this video go back and watch the beginning because I talked about a, re a revelation that God gave me about uh, angels and knocking on the door when uh, Peter Paul whoever it was was in jail anyway I just wanted to share that with you I, it, it, to me it's really exciting to experience uh, the supernatural realm even when I experience demons, uh, I've seen several demons, and I'll tell you about that in another video, but it's it's not, um, ooh, scary. It's like, oh, now I know who you are and what to do about it. Because when you can see your enemy, you can fight him better. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. Um, so that is what I want to share with you. Anyway, I'm coming out with a new book. It's my first picture book. I'm really exciting, excited about it, and I'm hoping to have it out by uh, Christmas. And what it is, it's going to be all about angels. It's going to have, I, I, I'm not sure, but it's going to have Kat Kerr's interview that she gave me about angels. It's going to have some of my experiences about angels. And, but most of all, it's going to be a picture book, full color, so it might be a little bit expensive. And it's going to have pictures of angels pictures that of angels in the sky the clouds of angels and stuff so if you have any pictures that you have taken of and have seen angels in the sky um, and you want to give me permission to use them send them to my email Robin Bremer at sbcglobal.net or Facebook message me your email so I can have permission and the picture and if I like the picture enough if you can clearly see the host of heaven in the picture and you give me permission I'll put it in my book along with my own pictures but um, it's a collection of angels that you can clearly see them in the sky. So I'm really excited about it, and this book should be out um, in Chris, uh, by Christmas time. I already have it going. I already have the ISBN number and everything. It's, kind of, it's called uh, Angels in the Sky. And uh, I, I'm going to probably share a little bit about uh, teaching about angels in that book also. Uh, so anyway, I'm excited about it. I hope you're excited about it. And expect to see angels. It's normal. Check out my book, 80 Facts About Angels, and also uh, Raising the Dead, Healing the Sick, uh, Raising the Dead, Supernatural Wine, and Other Normal Christian Experiences. It's a long title of several of my books about that. Check it out, and uh, I'll talk to you later. So this is robinbremer.net. Check out my website, and I will talk to you later. Have a blessed day.